Hi, I'm Adrian Schneer, Advancement Coach and Strategist, Lawyer and Professor, and you're listening to the Advancement Spot Podcast, the podcast all about academic and professional skills, strategy, and mindset to help you make big moves to achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams. If you're looking to accomplish more and take your next steps with supportive and experience-informed strategies, look no further. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the Advancement Spot Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Schneer, and I am so grateful that you've taken time out of your busy day to spend some here with us. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Casey, a member of the Founders Cohort of our signature course, Mastering Academic Applications from Scratch to Submission, and Casey is making amazing strides in her work. Casey is a graduate of York University's Global Health Specialized Honors Program, and she's currently working, volunteering, and applying to law schools. Thank you so much for joining me today, Casey. Thank you for having me, Dr. Schneer. I am so happy that you're here because you are part of the Founders Cohort, which is huge because you are part of the, what that means is you're part of the first group of members of Apply Yourself to go through our signature course. So I really want to dive into that today. But before we do, I would love it if you could just tell us a bit more about yourself. Sure. Yeah. And I just want to say I'm really excited to be part of the Founders Cohort, I think. The course so far has been such a phenomenal experience, and I'm really excited to to really dive in deep with the application process. So thank you so much again. Awesome. And a little bit about myself. Sure. So I graduated from York University as Global Health Program last year, 2021. And in the meantime, I've just been working two part-time jobs, trying to save up some money to go to law school. <laughs> so in conjunction with the two jobs, I've been volunteering. And I've also been studying for the LSAT. So yes, a lot on my plate. And I am so appreciative of you, Dr. Schneer, and your guidance throughout this application process. Because honestly, I think that without the structure of the course, it's just, I, I spend so much of my time just looking for different resources and different pieces of advice that are often very conflicting. And I'm not getting the answers that I am looking for. So that's just my experience so far with everything. With trying to find answers by like Googling or YouTubing or TikToking or Instagramming. Like I was there too as an applicant. And I remember thinking, like hoping that I would get some answer or I'd be able to read about another school or, a, you know, a school that had more information on their programs and the requirements and then extrapolate based on their requirements for what the requirements were for my school. But it just doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. No. And so this course has what I intended for this course was that it is like the one-stop shop for people who are applying to graduate and professional programs. And so could you maybe start by telling us, since you've, you've mentioned that, you know, you have been on the receiving end of conflicting information. Can you tell me what that process was like for you before starting Mastering Academic Applications? Sure. Yeah. And I think the conflicting information that I'm referring to, you know, it's not just what I can find online. It's just other pieces of advice that people tend to tell me when I'm talking about the application process. Like, hey, this is how you should be writing your statement of interest. Like, make sure that you put in all of your relevant information experience and then at the end, just write like a blurb that's specific to the school. And I just don't know how effective that actually is. So that's just one piece of advice that I've been given that I don't really know how credible that is or how helpful that would actually be in the writing process. And when I'm Googling, you know, the different application components, it's just very like general, broad pieces of advice that may not help me really capture the essence of the school that I want to go to, the program that I want to go to. And it's just not comprehensive enough, I feel. It's just very surface level. Like I really want to get in depth to what the school can offer me as a student and also what I can offer to the school. So a lot of roadblocks there in terms of finding the right answers just online prior to the course. Right. And so so you're you've started the course 
and you're working your way through it. And so how are you finding it so far, just generally? I'm finding it really, really helpful. Like you, you tell us a lot of context and background information on each component of the application. So I know for week two was really a significant part of our program so far because it really builds our entire foundation for the application process. And it really helps us to inform our thinking, how we should be approaching the application process, as well as how we should be thinking about ourselves and where we are right now in terms of presenting our experiences and our achievements on the application. And it's just like, this isn't, this isn't stuff that you could find online, right? Like it's not readily available information like, oh, you should work on your mindset or you should work on scheduling for your success. You know, like you really help us build up these really crucial skills and this really crucial mindset, this growth mindset, and it'll just help propel us forward and we complete our applications because without this work, it's, it's so, it's not well-informed, I feel, without this type of foundational, insightful work where we really take the time for ourselves to think about what we want in life and to think about what we want out of the application. And 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 especially the five-year vision assignment that you gave us, you know, it, it, and it helps us to map out our aspirations in life, like five years down the line, 10 years down the line. And we can even just keep doing this exercise, this five-year vision exercise over and over again. And it, it, it's going to change, right? Like six months down the line, if you decide to do it again, it'll, it'll be drastically different, maybe. Maybe it'll be drastically different, but it'll be, it'll change over that course and, and you'll, you'll know a lot more about yourself in the long run. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. So just for a bit of context, week two is called mastering your foundations. And what we do in week two is we really set up all of the members of the course for success. And what that means is mindset, scheduling, tech. We really lay the foundations for everything that you need to do in order to just move forward in the application process flawlessly and without having to worry about like, where did I save this? Where did I save that? How did I save this? Where is this? Where Where is this going to be accessible? And how do you're absolutely right. And how do I think about myself? How do I think about my future? Because how we conceptualize ourselves in our own futures totally lays the foundation for our applications, but also for the rest of our lives. Right. How we consider ourselves and where we're going, our capabilities, our skills, the significance of our experiences, what we want, who we want to bring on that journey with us and who maybe is it going to help us on that journey. Those are really foundational questions that actually end up really catapulting us into making those choices today for the rest of our lives. Just thinking about it and even putting it down on paper. And it's just for you, right? You're never going to, you don't need to show this to anybody. The work is just for you, but we do come together and we talk about it. And so I know that especially in week two, this, this week on building your foundations, mindset and the five year vision was something that everyone was so passionate about <laughs> during our coaching call. And I, I think that you're absolutely right with your experience of how significant that was. So maybe can you take me through what it was like for you to go through that five-year vision exercise, which as you say, you can do over and over again. I know that I do because it's not easy, right? Absolutely not easy at all. <laughs> I know like during our group coaching calls, each of us in the founders cohort had a very different approach to the five-year vision. And of course, like it's it's all of our individualized approaches and you know, as long as it informs each of our, of our plans, of our journeys, then that is the most important thing. And I know that for myself, it was really hard at first to sit down and really immerse yourself into this process, into this visualization process and, and think about what you want down the line. Because I think often than not, when we're immersing ourselves to the application process, it's a very lonely process. We've talked about this before, but it's very lonely and, and you're so caught up in just, thinking about all of the numbers, all the requirements, the statistics that you're not really focusing on yourself. So when I was completing this five-year vision, I was really, it allowed me to, to sit down with myself, to 
to be quiet with my thoughts for a moment and to just write down everything that I'm aspiring to be, aspiring to do all in one place so that I can just easily refer back to it and then also add on to it. Like I mentioned before, like when I first started this exercise, I would have maybe like a few sentences just outlining what what it is that I wanted to put down. For example, like what what do you want your reputation to be five years from now? And, you know, I, I wrote down something along the lines of, you know, I want to be someone that that people can come to for help, for advice, and eventually move up to a leadership position wherever they, wherever that may be. You know, as a lawyer, I, I want to be someone that, or an aspiring lawyer, I should say, I want to be someone that people come to when they need help, people who can confide in me. So that's that's just what I wrote down at the time. And, and as I'm engaging with the course material, I find myself always going back to those questions and adding on to it, even in point form. And, and I know you said to us, like, the way that we write down things is a different way of processing. So it's just important to have everything down on paper. So we, we always have it in mind and we can always refer back to it. I think that's so powerful, Casey, because that's not the realizations here are intangible, right? I want to be somebody who people can, who people can confide in, who come to me for help. You know, what you're saying, this is real stuff at, at your very core. These are your values. You value loyalty, honesty, trust. That's what's coming out here. And this is the kind of professional that you want to be. And this is beyond like what kind of car you want, right? This is like actually the stuff that matters. And this is what comes out of that five-year vision. And it does catapult you into the rest of the application, certainly the personal statement and autobiographical sketch process and every other component because you're clear on you. You're not focusing on anybody else. And as part of this community, we work together supporting each other through these very individual processes, right? And so we, so maybe before we start, before we talk about the community, could you talk a bit about your experience of actually going through the course program material of Master (laughs) Academic Applications? Sure, yeah. Right now we're on week four, so I'm just in the middle of getting week four completed. And week four is about, it's titled Your Standardized Test. So in the program, you you know, this week can be applicable to any type of standardized test, whether it be the LSAT, the MCAT, the GMAT. (laughs) And, you know, you lay it all down for us, Dr. Schneer. Like this week four, you you have a schedule for us that we can just plot down our study plan. And I find that super helpful. It's a really helpful resource. And I can say the same for, for the weeks prior. So, you know, like I really appreciate that the weeks are laid out so clearly, you know, your, your audio instructions and your video instructions are always so easy to follow, super thorough. And it's, it's so easy to learn the material. And what you're, what you're advising us to do during the application process and also to apply our, our learning into the action steps because the way that the course is laid out, right? It's, it's, we learn the concept and then we have the opportunity to apply it right away. So it's not just, you know, absorbing all these things. And then later down the line, you, you can apply whatever you've learned, but you, you might have lost some of that along the way. No, instead that it's, we learn something and then we actually do it. And I think that's super helpful with the way that we're writing the application right now. I think it's just been a really easy experience. You've really made the application process so easy for us, Dr. Schneer, and it's it saved a lot of time too because you've broken it down for us. Like we do, for example, we do our five-year vision and then we build our accountability for ourselves in the course during the application process. So we have a schedule that's clearly laid out for us. And then the following week, week three is the application requirements. So you laid out for us as well right there, like determine our requirements for the specific school or program that we're interested in. And then the action is track those requirements right away in an Excel sheet that you prepared for us that will help us organize all of our components. The swipe file. swipe file, yes. And so in those swipe files, the the organizational 
stuff is all done for you. So all you have to do is fill fill in the information that pertains to you. And so that's a huge time savings because you're not thinking like, what are the components I need to track? You know, where does the date go? How am I going to track all of this? I give you all the trackers that you need in order to keep on track and make sure that everything, that, that, that all of your deadlines are met and early. And so, you know, you're busy, right? You're working, you're volunteering, you're doing a lot. You're studying for the LSAT, you're writing your applications. How does this course factor in here? Like, can you, how do you balance everything? And are you finding that the course is sort of conducive to your busy life right now? Mm -hmm, Absolutely. I think... You know, it's, it's a work in progress in terms of my own time management, but I, I'm, I'm making it work. And I think the course fits so nicely and, and by schedule because, you know, it's a hybrid course. All of the modules, weeks one to 12 are online. So we can do them on a week by week basis. And we're even invited to go ahead if we want it to be as long as we do the weeks in order. And I think I look forward to the group, the, the, the group coaching calls every single Wednesday at noon because it just it's, it's it's all there for me like online I can just do the work and then show up Wednesday and bring any questions I have to the table and engage with my colleagues and my my fellow founders cohort members as well how they're feeling about the course how they're feeling about the components of that week and I think the course is just really laid out so nicely where I can follow each of the components week by week in a consistent basis. So I know like when I have to show up for the group coaching calls, I know what days I can dedicate to the course and really immerse myself to the course. So it's just been really helpful in that regard. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think that the placement of the group coaching calls Wednesdays at noon has been, I mean, it was a conscious choice on my part because the idea was that you'd start on, that we'd start the course only on Mondays so that you have two days to get two and a half days to really get started with the material, bring your questions to the group coaching call on Wednesdays at noon. And then you have the latter half of the week to continue to implement so that you're never getting stuck. Do you find that that's working for you? That's how I intended it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think so far so good, right? It's It's been super helpful. And even the questions that I have in my head about the application process, like, oh, how should I be contacting my references? You have it there. So when I'm going through the course and I'm going through it week by week, the questions that I have in my head are almost always immediately answered right away. I should, I should say always answered immediately right away because it's all there. You laid it all out for us. So it's just been a huge time saver and. The group coaching calls are just a great opportunity for for me to get any further clarification and, you know, your own insights into the application process. And I'm very, very grateful for that. Yeah. And I think that that's great that you raise that because I think that that this is all what was missing for me. Right. This is all what was missing for me in all of my application cycles. I applied to medical school, law school, master's, Ph.D. This type of guidance and community is what was missing. And, And in such an intensive process right? In such an intense process that means so much to us. And so we really want answers that are unique to us. So do you find that as you're going through the course with the group coaching calls and with your peers in the program, do you find that you're able to really easily apply all of the, all of the coaching, all of the strategy, all of the swipe files to your circumstances? And your, the significance of your experiences and what you bring to the table? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, your instructions, they're always very clear, very comprehensive. And what you're saying is, is very applicable to a wide range of programs and schools. And I really take this, these lessons to heart when I'm preparing my own application, because I feel like that they're so, they're thorough enough where I can take that lesson and I can apply it to my own application package. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about, let's talk about the community. So let's talk about these group coaching calls because they're actually my favorite part. <laughs> I love the course. I created it and, and curated all of my 
experience as an applicant and as a professor, as a lawyer, and as an uh, admissions committee member at the graduate and professional school level, and also at the level of job search, job search and promotion committees as well. And I actually just love coming together on Wednesdays. I think that the group is so amazing. There are the people who are in the founders cohort are in it to win it. They're so dedicated and everyone comes on Wednesdays with such openness and honesty. And I appreciate that so much. For a little bit of context for our listeners, the recordings of the coaching calls, the group coaching calls on Wednesdays are available to those who enroll in the program. The audio is is made available. So Casey, could you maybe just talk a bit about your experience in these coaching calls? Because this is sort of a, a non-traditional way of coaching. This is brand new in this space, the way that the way that I'm doing this and this content that that you're all learning. There's nothing like this out there. So in, we've talked about some of the aspects of the course. And can you reflect on your experience in the group coaching calls? Sure. I think the group coaching calls are also my favorite thing about the course. I really look forward to meeting everyone each week and and hearing about their experiences going through the program, any questions they may have, and and really just learning from you, Dr. Sheeran, like about your own insights, your own experiences, and you really help alleviate a lot of the worries and the stress that comes with the application process. So I think the coaching calls have been such a good driver for myself to to really push forward in the application process because I know that I'm not alone. I know that I have a group of people who are also, you know, after the same thing as me, they have their own dreams and their own aspirations. And we're all in this together, essentially. Like we may be applying to different schools and different programs, but we all are here to support each other. We're all here to learn from each other. I know I've learned a lot from, from everyone in the founders cohort and just having this space and this time to talk to each other about our feelings, our, our dreams, our goals, and what, what we're up to in life. It's just been such a great experience. And it's something that I really look forward to each week. And yeah, it's, it's just been great. Everyone's been so great, so supportive. And, you know, the Facebook group is always so fun to, to scroll through and go to all the events. So yeah, yes. it's been great. Yeah. And we have that bonus event coming up. At the time of this recording, the bonus event is coming up in about a week and a half. And the bonus event is for members of the Founders Cohort to come and do a live visualization with me in a beautiful outdoor space. We're actually in Toronto. So all of our members are currently in Toronto or will be traveling to Toronto around that time. And so we're, we're getting together in order to do a really powerful visualization exercise. If it was powerful, and I know that they are powerful, alone, sitting there doing the course and then showing up to the coaching call and talking about it there, imagine just how powerful it's going to be in person. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's always nice to have a change in environment and be surrounded by by supportive people in doing this exercise because it is a very daunting thing at first, but the more you engage in it, the more you really sit down and self-reflect, it just... It just helps you further your own goals in life and your own application journey because now you're not second guessing yourself all the time. Like, is this what I really want? Like, you always have this assignment, this vision to go back to and inform your application. So I'm really looking forward to that bonus session. It's going to be super fun. It'll be nice to see everybody. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm so excited for it. And, you know, another power, powerful part of the visualization exercise and the work that we do around it is that it it's sort of you giving you permission to think big for yourself and really visualize that life beyond your wildest dreams. And your dreams will get bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more wild. And this is really the foundation of you building the kind of life that you want and, and the kind of life beyond what you even could imagine five, six weeks ago. And so that brings me to another question You've been in this course for about four weeks now. In such a short time, if you can answer, how has the way that you've considered yourself or thought about yourself changed just in this short time? 
you know, I think the course has really allowed me the time and the space and the energy to really sit down and plan things out for myself and plan out my thoughts because it's, it's, it's been so nice to have this structure in place so that I can just focus on one component of the application each week, one component of, of my application package each week. And it's been great. I think over the course of these four weeks, I've been able to really sit down with myself and ask myself, this is what I really want. And this is what I want to strive for. And I think it's just been a really organized way of doing things. You know, I, I really appreciate this the structure and the layout of everything because, oh my goodness, I used to just jump back and forth like, oh my gosh, I have to order my transcript. Oh my gosh, I have to contact my referees. No, I just have all of that in place now. I have it all laid out for me and I can just focus on one thing at a time. I'm not like rushing to get one thing done while this other thing is just sitting idle. I just, I know when I have to get things done. And I know that after these four weeks, I'm so much more sure of myself and I'm so much more sure of what I'm doing and that what I'm doing is right for myself. That's great. I love that. And the structure, you know, in one of our previous episodes, Peter, one of my clients said the same thing. Peter said, you provide a structure And then I can be creative within that structure. I don't have to waste my mental energy thinking about the formatting and what has to be included and how it has to be included and how the significance is included, what what language to use, how to introduce myself, how to frame my goals, how to frame my experience. And what Peter said was that he said, I am able to just focus on myself and be creative and within the structure that you provide, just talk about, write about myself, my experience, the significance of my experience in a compelling way. And I'm hearing you say that too. And so I'm so glad that you brought that up. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, I think it's so important to have the structure in place because like personally, I, I worry and fret about every single little detail, like, okay, on my resume, I have to have this many spaces in between each, <laughs> like the, it has to be indented this many times. So Exactly. You, know, you also provide a swipe file for us. It's coming up next week. We're working on our CV and resume next week. So you also provide swipe files. Yes. I'm really looking forward to it. So you provide that swipe file and, you know, it's, it's a template that works for you and it works for a lot of different people that you work with, your clients. And it works because it's helped you get into these, these programs. And so it's very reassuring for myself as well. Like just having the structure in place because. I don't have to fret about every single little minute detail. I can just, I can just sit down, write everything that I need to write all of my experiences, my achievements, my, my aspirations, write it all down for them to, for the applications committee to review. And it's just one less worry to have because this, this process is so like, you have to be very detail oriented. You need to be very thorough about what you want to say because you want to tell them everything, but in a way that that's very concise, that fits the program requirements, the word count. So just having the structure in place just alleviates a lot of that stress for me. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was an applicant, I, just like you, I would bounce around. I would, oh, I need to order my transcripts and now I need to ask my you know referees if they'll support me. And now I need to start my personal statement and oops, bouncing back. Now there's some short answer questions and bouncing around back to the CV. And you're absolutely right that I've really strategically laid out the different weeks of the course so that we build on each and every single week. So you need to do the work in the first four weeks to move on to the CV and resume because otherwise you're mentally, you're not ready yet. You can't just jump into a CV. This is why so many people have trouble with CVs and resumes and personal statements and autobiographical sketches and, and, and all the rest of the application because they don't sit and do this foundational work. Now, I don't fault anybody because quite honestly, it's not available other than this. And so the reason that I know this and that I can say this is because I went through the same thing. I went through the same thing of bouncing around, of not having these answers. And so this is, I've really created this and curated all of the content here in a really strategic way so that you can get everything done ahead of time and only focus on one thing a week. Exactly. Right. 
I think, I think that that's so, so such an important piece to draw out. The question that I always finish with, is there a piece of advice that you would give yourself, your, your sort of like younger previous self? Do you have an, an idea of a piece of advice that you might give yourself even like a month ago, two months ago? Yeah, I think I would say that I wish I could have worked with apply yourself sooner. I think that connecting with you sooner would have really helped to springboard this application way earlier. And I could have had all of the components completed in a much more organized, timely fashion than than what I was doing a few months ago, where I was, oh my gosh, I was like dreading writing my statement of interest. I was dreading studying for my LSAT, which, which I've been doing consistently over the past six or so months. But, you know, these, these things all tend to overlap when we're doing it alone. So just working with, with you, Dr. Schneer, and with the Founders Corps has really helped to solidify these plans and lay them all out for me in a way that's so simple and so clear to follow. And each week has a theme, essentially, like I can immerse myself fully into that component, into that theme. So I can just, so that I know that I produce the best work that I can. That really captures my, my experiences and the significance that I've done. And just be so assured that I've done all the work that I can. And this application reflects who I am. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love that because it's about you, right? Like that's, that's what it's about. And so I, I think that it's so amazing to finish on that note because it's about you. It's about no one else. It's about no one else. It's about nothing else. It's about you, the significance of your experiences and your future. That's what this is all about. And so I'm so grateful that you've taken the time, Casey, to chat with me about how you're finding the course so far. And I am excited to see you at our coaching call tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Casey. Thank you, Dr. Schneer. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Advancement Spot podcast. If you heard something today that helped you get one step closer to achieving the amazing life you want, and you'd like to learn more about working with me, I'd love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help you. So follow me on Instagram at applyyourselfglobal and send me an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode, leave this episode a review, and share this episode with somebody you think needs a boost of inspiration and actionable tools to help them succeed. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.